Thank you very much. Thank you. How are you? Yeah. Oh, you sound good. Good. I'm feeling good. It's nice to be here in California. I'm originally from the Midwest. Uh, Cleveland, Ohio is my hometown. And uh, yeah, Ohio. Yeah, Ohio is an Indian word, of course. You know that? It means beautiful. And of course, Cleveland's an Indian word. It means not. So um, <laughs> it works out okay. I was born there. I was a large baby, 10 pounds, 8 ounces when I was born. Yeah, I've lost weight since. Uh, yeah. I like being a kid growing up, uh, except my parents were too strict, I think. They used to send us to bed at 7 o'clock at night when we were little. We'd be all done sleeping about 3 in the morning, and uh, by the time school started, we were exhausted. <laughs> Putting a full day at that point. I'll tell you the worst thing about being a kid, I think, is doing chores. Doing those dishes every day, taking out that garbage. That's the great thing about getting your own apartment. You move in that first day, you look around, you think to yourself, I'm done with chores. <laughs> <laughs> then after about a month and a half, you got those dishes piled up in the sink, and you have that science experiment growing in the shower, and you look around again, and you think to yourself, I gotta have some kids. <laughs> yeah, I hope to have kids someday myself, but uh, I think I should fix up my apartment first. I went to get some new furniture this week. Went to one of those unfinished furniture stores. The guy sold me a tree. <laughs> I said, come on, you could finish it a little bit. That's it. But I think I'll test out having kids by becoming a big brother. Anyone in the big brother program? No. No. Okay. Uh... <laughs> well, maybe I won't join and be the only one. That'd be a mistake. How many kids would I have to have? No. No. Um... No, I think it's, it's a good program, because like once a week you have some poor fatherless kid come over your house and do chores, and yeah, I don't need a full-time kid. Yeah, I like being a kid, except uh, I had to carry a lunchbox. Do anyone carry a lunchbox? Yeah? And, and did you have cool ones like Batman, Superman, Barbie? Yeah? I had the worst one, I think. I had the red and black plaid lunchbox. <laughs> And might as well have a sign that said, beat me up, I'm a geek. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't wait to get racing. Once I had to be a sophomore in college, I threw this thing away, and up I said. <laughs> and I had a matching plaid thermos. Yeah, I was just doofus on parade, boy. <laughs> now, carrying a bag was the cool thing. Wasn't it, Carrie? Let's just go in a bag. Except sometimes your mom would run out of bags. And what would she do? Give your lunch in a full-size grocery bag? Yeah, a big one. That's it. You go, oh, mom, do I have to? We'll just cut the top off. No one will know the difference. <laughs> oh, mom. Then you get to school, you had to lie to the other kids. Uh, no, I got lunch for everybody today, really. <laughs> or worse, would your mom do this when she ran out of bags? Give your lunch in the leftover bread bag? <laughs> yeah. So everyone could inspect your lunch on the way to school? And moms ever buy that one pound loaf of bread? They buy that survival shelter size, that 18 pound loaf of bread. So you're trying to be behind you on the ground on the way to school. Looks like you're trolling for other food. Oh, look, I got a dog. Oh, that'll be good. And all moms do the same thing. They put fruit in the lunch. They always put a big apple or orange in there. And always leaves a big dent in the middle of your sandwich. You know, it always squashes the middle of your sandwich. So when you finally take out the bag, it looks like an ashtray sitting there. <laughs> Other kids grinding out cigarettes in it. Oh, I'll cut that out, I'll cut that out. <laughs> what else is in the lunch? Uh, Oreos, I guess all moms understood to put Oreos in there. Sure, Oreos, yeah. yeah. Now, dads never understood that for some reason. They, they don't understand kids and Oreos. You know, they go to the store to get Oreos. It's on the list. For some reason, they wander back hours later with Hydrox. <laughs> Why'd you get these, Dad? Save a penny. Or worse, my dad try and save even more money. Come home with those store brand Oreos. Those 1,300 to the package, come on. And they're so cheap, they say in the front, black cookies. <laughs> oh, thanks, I'll enjoy these with my Shasta Cola.
Now, my mom would buy my favorites, boy. She'd buy me animal cookies. And these always are great in the store, didn't they? Little cage, that little circus cage with the string on it. <laughs> then you get them home, and all the heads and legs would be broken off. <laughs> and we'd all be sitting there thinking the same thing. When are these people going to learn? You can't pull out different kind of animals in the same cage. <laughs> Separate cages, please. They're animals. They're cages. <laughs> Did you ever throw away your real lunch at school and just stuff yourself with like Hershey bars and Ding Dong? Yeah. Doritos. <laughs> and Doritos? Yeah, Doritos. Yeah. Uh, uh. Well, there's a plug. Yeah. <laughs> and that first hour bath of class, you made that sugar rush? And you were raising your hands for questions you never heard of before? <laughs> Then you have just enough energy to get you down to the candy store. We buy something like those little wax milk bottles. Remember those? Yeah, yeah they're good health food, huh? Yeah, one sip of that fluid and you had diabetes the rest of your life. That wasn't candy. That was a glucose tolerance test. You've been great. Thank you very much. Thank you.